So the first thing you got to do if your clutch is stuck on is remove this piece here out of the bottom so that you can get a puller in there. And uh, what I did is I just uh, ran a one half 13 tap up through here. It's pretty easy because uh, you don't have a lot of thread engagement. The hole's really bigger than what you would have for tapping a half inch. And then uh, use a slide hammer here to pop that out. Okay. So here's the puller I made to remove the PTO clutch brake off the shaft on that John Deere. All right, gonna install this now and uh, did want to make this really beefy so that it wouldn't deflect in operation, but you gotta make sure that you don't make it too big or you'll never be able to get it in there. So it took a little screwing around. So there's also this piece here, because there's a, a key on the inside of this. So I'm putting this plug up in here with a hardened bolt in the end of it. So that not mashing up that keyway or the end of the crankshaft where the tapped hole is. And uh, start wrenching on it. There you have it. And then the other thing was uh, the pulley was also rusted onto the shaft, which this isn't the, the same pulley, but uh, what I did there was got this piece of pipe, welded a nut into the end of it, and then uh, got under there and ended up welding this piece out of the pulley. Uh, be careful not to get it too hot and get the shaft hot and wreck the seal or anything. And then uh, screw the slide hammer into those threads there and end up tapping the pulley down off the shaft as well. And then of course you got to take a uh, hacksaw and angle grinder or something. Cut away that weld and then uh, grind it flat on a belt sander or something so it goes back together properly. And I've used this thing on multiple pulleys to get them off. Just keep, you know, grinding it down and sanding it off. 